I don't care who you are or what Poseidon sperm you came out of. No one can swim in jeans. No one. In November 1941, two years after Marvel Comics introduced Namor the Submariner to the world, DC introduced their own water-dwelling superhero. And while the characters have a lot of things in common, it was actually Aquaman who would go on to become far more popular. Wow, a real superhero. I, I have little wings on my feet. Ask the average person or a casual comic book fan to describe Aquaman, and you're likely to hear that he wears an orange and green costume and that he can talk to fish. This is in large part due to the campy cartoons that he would appear in from the 60s and 70s. Swift and powerful monarch of the oceans, with ability to summon and command all creatures. So when the Warner Brothers decided they were going to release a Justice League movie in 2017, they decided they needed to revamp the character to give him more of an edge. This is why they hired Jason Momoa for the role and abandoned the character's clean-shaven face and short blonde hair. But then they took it a step further by initially straying away from his iconic orange and green outfit and instead opting to go with a pair of blue jeans and street clothes for much of the film. This is something that just didn't sit right with our friends over at Cosplay Fame. Peripherally related, but it really just grinds my gears. And I will believe, you know, when, when you watch these superhero, superhero movies, there is a uh, suspended... Disbelief. Disbelief. I don't care. I will believe anything that DC throws at me, but I will not believe for a f***ing second. I don't care who you are or what Poseidon sperm you came out of. No one can swim in jeans. No one. But believe it or not, swimming in clothes actually isn't that unusual. Ryan Pete, the fat boy from Richmond, Virginia, who successfully averted ridicule by swimming, get this, with his shirt on. Amazing. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, Brian, who's been fat since birth, was tired. Sure, we all know the stereotype of the chubby little boy too embarrassed to take his shirt off at the pool. But in Thailand and some other parts of Asia, it's actually completely normal to swim fully dressed. Yeah, that might seem a little bit odd, but if my time doing a show about dumb questions has taught me anything, it's that things can always get weirder. Seriously, there's an entire subculture on YouTube entirely devoted to people swimming and playing in water fully clothed. It's called the wet look. And I'm not just talking about a couple of one-off videos. I'm talking about channels with thousands of subscribers and millions of views. However, this might actually explain a little bit further why the producers of Justice League chose to portray Aquaman the way that they did. Because what would combat the perceived corny image of Aquaman more than by making him a sex symbol? But by doing this, did they inadvertently make him a weaker hero? According to the comics, Aquaman has the ability to swim 10,972 kilometers per hour while in his costume. But as anyone who has ever been caught in the rain knows, Wet clothes add weight, and in the water, they add drag. Jason Momoa even spoke about the difficulties of working in wet denim during an interview at Comic-Con San Diego. Choice, looking back to wear denim. <laughs> so, so those, you know, they look like leather pants, they're not, they're wet 20 ounce denim. I'm like, James, I'm like bottoming out right here. This is wet denim, bro. I'm like, bam, I'm like, do it cooler, I'm like, so how much resistance does denim cause when swimming? Well, in 2016, the European Journal of Applied Physiology conducted a study to see the impact of clothing on thermoregulation and swim performance. Basically, researchers wanted to know if you were stranded in the water, would it be better to strip your clothes off and swim to shore faster or leave your clothes on and hold off hyperthermia for longer? They took 10 men and put them in a pool to swim laps around for an hour. Five subjects swam clothed and five swam naked. They then rested and conducted the experiment one more time with the same subjects swimming again, but changing whether or not they were clothed. The study concluded that not only did the added weight of the clothes slow the subject down, but it actually decreased the distance that they were able to swim within that hour. How much? Well, on average, unclothed individuals were able to swim 
1.77 kilometers per hour, compared to clothed subjects that topped out at an average of 1.52 kilometers per hour, decreasing their efficiency by 17%. The study concluded that the energy you would need to propel yourself through the water while fully clothed would ultimately tire you out and cause drowning well before hypothermia would if you were swimming without clothes. So knowing he can swim at a top speed of 10,972 kilometers per hour in his most efficient form, a 17% decrease in efficiency would mean that Aquaman tops out at 9,103 kilometers per hour while in his jeans. Luckily for Aquaman, he wouldn't have to worry about hypothermia, but you would. This is Tampa. Here is where I first met the team from Cosplay Fame. In the early 2000s, author Dennis Brooks, using the information Plato provided in his works Timaeus and Cretaceous, concluded that Atlantis was in America and that Tampa was the royal city. Let's take a closer look at Plato's description of the land said to be the fairest of all plains, very fertile. Near the center of the plain, at a distance of some five and a half miles inland, there was a peninsula. There were two zones of land and three zones of water placed evenly around the castle. Each zone was centered on the castle so that no outsider. To be fair, Tampa is one of many hypothesized locations for the lost city of Atlantis, from the Straits of Gibraltar to Antarctica. But in the DC comics, they put the location of Aquaman's home near the Portuguese island chain known as the Azores, about 5,330 kilometers away from Tampa. The temperature of the water in the bay is about 25 degrees Celsius in the fall. And while that is warm, if you're in the water long enough, you can still succumb to hypothermia and eventually drown. All it takes is for your body to fall below 35 degrees Celsius. Once that happens, your blood vessels constrict, you become disoriented and fatigued, and then, without rescue, eventually die. The time it takes for a person to fall to hypothermia differs based upon the temperature of the water. The passengers on board the Titanic, for example, fell into water that was a frigid negative two degrees Celsius. At that temperature, it can take as little as 15 minutes for you to lose consciousness and drown. But in warm water, like here in Tampa Bay, it can take upwards of 10 hours or more. And at a speed of 9,103 kilometers per hour while wearing clothes, it would take Aquaman less than 30 minutes to swim from Atlantis to Tampa oh, Bay. Man. More than enough time to save you from the effects of hypothermia. But what about the passengers of the Titanic? The remnants of this story ship lay about 570 kilometers southeast of Newfoundland in Canada and is a full 3,965 kilometers closer to Aquaman's Atlantis than Atlantis is to Tampa Bay. But again, because the water is only negative 2 degrees Celsius, you have only 15 minutes max before you die. Luckily, at a top speed of 10,972 kilometers per hour, it would be no issue for Aquaman to reach the passengers of the Titanic in his classic costume. But if he chose to stick with his street clothes, that 17% decrease in drag he would experience means that he would still be about 300 kilometers away from you while your lifeless body slowly sank to the bottom of the Atlantic, never to be seen again. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this very first episode of My Dumb Question on Air on YouTube. As always, you can go follow us at all the social media places at My Dumb Question. You can also go and check us out Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time on twitch.tv forward slash My Dumb Question. Finally, I want to send a gigantic shout out to the team over at Cosplay Fame for giving this, giving us this awesome dumb question. You can find a link to them in the description below. Um, Otherwise, I hope you like this. If you do, smash subscribe, hit a thumbs up, ring the little bell so you can always catch me here. I'm gonna to try to do about once a month. Uh, and that's all I got for you. I didn't script this part. So, wubba lubba dub dub. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm gonna have an episode about Rick and Morty coming up, but probably, maybe, I don't know. Depends. It depends on you guys. You're the ones that give me the questions. I answer the questions that you give me, and then we go from there. But, I, I love you and I'll talk to you soon.
Peace.